This is uh, my hot water tank that's located under the bed. And uh, I'm pretty excited on how well this actually works. So I thought I would do a complete overview of how the electrical 12 volt and 110 volt powers this water heater to deliver hot water to the faucet. So I've got it all plumbed in and you can see I've got inlet and outlet isolation valves uh, on the, uh, the hot water heater, the blue being cold water coming in and the red handle with the white pipe is hot water coming out. And this is a uh, Bosch hot water heater and I've removed the dial because I'm working on a setup of that dial but essentially in order to increase or decrease the temperature of the water you just turn the dial and you can hear it kind of click there that's off and this hot water heater runs on 110 volts and I have a 110 volt plug mounted on the back wall of the van. The hot water heater is currently plugged into a timer switch that I can set. So I can set the hot water heater to be on for say 30 minutes and it automatically clicks off so that I don't forget to uh, turn the power to that hot water heater off and it drains the battery. The upper plug uh, is not on the timer and anything can be plugged into it. Now that is on a 30 amp circuit uh, with a uh, regular circuit breaker. So what I'm going to do first is plug the van into shore power and start the hot water heater and we can see how it works. Now there's the uh, connection for the uh, shore power to plug the van into shore power. And in order to do that, you basically just lift up the cover. And I have a power dongle that I can attach to the side of the van. And then you take a regular extension cord because it's a 15 amp circuit and this converts from 30 amp connection to a 15. And you plug it into shore power. <clears throat> and there's my and there's my shore power monitor. So if I go down to unit readings, There, my, I got 123 volts connected and I'm currently drawing 0.7 amps. So, if I come here and I crank up the setting of the hot water so that it's drawing for power, <clears throat> If we come back to take a look at, and you can see it's not drawing any more amps. But if we go over, and I turn my timer on, go over and turn on my timer, that activates that 110 volts.
And now we come back here, we have a look at it, and now I'm drawing 10.8 amps, and my voltage has dropped down to 114 volts. So I'm heating the hot water using shore power through the inverter charger. So if I go back, and I lower my temperature down till it clicks off, I should see that current draw back down to 0.7 amps and 123 volts, because it's really very little draw coming through. So now, if I go and unplug the van from shore power, now we have no shore power and we're going to be relying we have no shore power, now we're going to rely on our two 100 amp hour lithium batteries to, to create the 110 volts needed to run the hot water heater. So I go in and I check my inverted charger. I'm not creating any 110 volts. So if I go down, My timer's still operating. And I go down and crank up the temperature of the hot water tank. It clicks on. And you can see, still no voltage coming in from shore power. But, if I go to my shunt app and look at what's happening with the batteries. <clears throat> you can see that the batteries are still at 12.73 volts, but we're drawing 133.34 amps out of the batteries and consuming 1,697 watts. Our inverter is a 2,000 watt inverter, so we're pushing up probably around 80% of the capacity of the uh, inverter. But that power is now being converted to 110 volts by the inverter and powering the hot water heater to heat the hot water. So now I turn the temperature down on the hot water heater and we'll hear it clicks off and my inverter power now has dropped way down. You can see it on the display here. I come over to my tap, turn on the hot water Oh, here's my pump, so pressure up the, uh, that is very hot water, whoa, very nice.